don't be scared of showing your creativity because at the end of the day even if the song is bad people still get to listen to the beat and they're like yo this beat is actually crazy do you feel me and then they want to work with you not because of the song but because of the beat what's good it's your boy london producer and dj from lagos nigeria growing up in church that's where like my whole music career started from i used to play drums in church and my whole family used to be in the choir my aunties used to be in the choir and my uncles used to be um instrumentalists in church my one of my uncles played the keys another one played the drums so i always used to look up to them and yeah i grew up around church and just grew up around music so everything just started off from there it was tough at first you see everyone is like anything outside of church is called circular music but i didn't see it that way i just say as i was making music you know i was taking everything i had learned from church and just trying to make music that would touch people in different ways i won't call it circular music i'll just call it music you feel me but at first it wasn't that easy but you know they always get around at some point so yeah it's been a crazy one but we thank god for where it is right now my mom is listening to a lot of like David Bowie. She's listening to Tina Turner, Whitney Houston. I remember like waking up and she's like cleaning the house and you just hear all these songs in the background. Just listening to all those songs, Michael Jackson and everything. I always wanted to be like, yo, I want to be like Michael Jackson so bad. I want to dance like him. I want to do like this. With that going on and then me also like growing up in church, everything just kind of like sparked that thing in me to want to do music. But one thing I was always very shy so I didn't know how to like speak in front of people like during like church service how you have like kids come out to sing I would always be the guy at the back because I didn't want to see anyone's face but I've always wanted to be the guy behind the music to be honest like creating the magic and then just you know finding people to sing I don't know how to sing so I've kind of like just discovered ah right, cool let me just make the beats and then find someone else to sing on it but I've always had a passion for making beats because I remember in church after service I would always like go to the piano and they had like sequences on that one and I'll just make like a crazy ass eight bar loop and that's it and I'll never get it. You should listen to a lot of Boy Wonder stuff, SARS, is a Nigerian producer, Ozedikos and 40. It's very different from how everyone else is because I used to just make beats just for fun. And I had this guy who was a producer with a record label. His name is Baby Fresh. He's produced for all these big artists. So Baby Fresh found me on Instagram. I just used to post beats on Instagram. He's like, can you make an Afro beat like this? I was like, yeah, sure, I can do it. So I made the Afro beat and then I sent it to him. And three months later, he's like, Oh, I got Whiskey and Ricardo Banks on the song. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. So that was my first placement. And I feel like after that, I was like, maybe I should actually take this whole music thing serious and just like try and make songs instead of just making beats. Because before I just used to make beats and not songs. Sometimes I might have a melody in my head and I want to bring it out. And then I just get like the keys and try to play something or I could be listening to music and then want to sample the song. It all depends on the vibe for me. I'm never like, all right, cool, let me start with the drums or all right, cool, let me start with the keys. I just go based off the vibe. Sometimes I might have an idea for drums and then just go lay it down. The drums will, lay, will be in like my FL or my Ableton for like two weeks, just the drums. I haven't thought of any progression yet. And then I'll come back to it after. So I just go based off like how I'm feeling and the vibe, to be honest. Just staying true to your sound, experimenting, don't be scared to try new stuff, keep your head down, keep on grinding, stay true to your sound, and just don't be scared to experiment. It's really amazing to see like the whole world like looking at us right now with you know us taking Afrobeats to the next level. Nigeria is full of talented people, a lot of talented artists, a lot of underground producers too as well. I feel really confident on where Afrobeat is going to be in the next three, four years because the talent coming out of Nigeria is, is nothing like anyone has seen before, you know. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in the next coming years. 
you know, at the end of the day, everyone is just making music because they love it. The moment you started to see it as a job, then you no longer do it for fun. So if you're making music just to like have it on your Instagram or making music just to have it on beat stars or making music to get a placement, you're just doing what you love. You feel me at the end of this? So just, like I said, just have fun with it and enjoy yourself, to be honest. Working with Rema actually brought me out of my comfort zone. I'm also working with um, Stormzy. Stormzy is a UK rapper and, you know, it's not typical Afrobeats that he does. He does like rap stuff. So I remember having a session with him and that day I didn't know what to do, you know, but, you know, we finally got like this record and it's with Ray and it did crazy numbers in the UK and it's even like silver plaque right now. So, you know, it's just crazy. Sometimes, you know, I go to the studio and then I don't know what to do, but then by the time you just get into the vibe and just like have conversations with the artists and then just go off the vibe, you just create magic. There's been situations where I'm like, yeah, I don't know about this song or I don't know about this beat, but I always say something and it's like, you don't know who needs that song in their life. You don't know who's going through something. Or you don't know who just needs to hear something different for some change, you feel me? So whenever something doesn't sound right to me, I'm like, all right, cool, I have to just let it go. I can't be attached to it. Just because I'm attached to it, I might like hold someone else's feelings, you understand me? So if I hold back that beat, you know, someone won't get to experience that beat and they won't get to experience, you know, something in their life. So I just have this thing of, all right, cool, I do this. Let me just let it go. I don't stay too attached with anything. Trust me, I used to be like that sometimes. I'd be in the studio, I won't want to play that beat because I know, man, this beat is too crazy. I don't want to give it just out to anyone. But yeah, I had to just learn to like, just let it go because the moment you're able to let something go, then you know something better is going to come in return. So that's just how you know, I kind of like developed that habit. It's like, all right, cool. Let this one go. Let people see your creative side. Don't be scared of showing your creativity because at the end of the day, even if the song is bad, people still get to listen to the beat and they're like, yo, this beat is actually crazy. Do you feel me? And then they want to work with you, not because of the song, but because of the beat. It's not just the song people are listening to. People are also listening to the beat. People are also listening to like the chords. People are listening to the drums. People have like everything they pick from a song. So when you're able to realize that, you're going to be like, all right, cool. People should actually hear what I did on this beat. This beat is crazy. Sometimes I listen to other songs. I'm like, yo, this shit is hard. And then I'm like, Fuck, I wish that was me that produced it. But at the end of the day, I feel like I am who I am because of like my sound. And if you're calling me to the studio, if you're asking me to pull up to a session, you want something, I'm the only one who can give it to you. So that's where my confidence comes from. I'm like, you could have called this guy, but he's not gonna give you what I'm gonna give you. So when you when I pull up to the studio, I already have this mindset. I'm like, all right, cool, there's a reason why I'm here. And don't worry, trust me, I'm going to deliver for that same reason that you want me here. Afrobeats is known for a certain type of drum pattern, a certain type of, you know, chord progression or whatever. So I used to listen to a lot of Afrobeats coming up as a producer and then I was like, hmm, why isn't anyone trying to do Afrobeats but then put like the trap sounds inside and then, you know, mix things like this, you know. And then that was kind of like where my whole inspiration came from to have my sound. It was like picking things from a Brazilian record and then mixing it with Afrobeat drums or picking things from like a Chinese record and mixing it with like Afrobeat drums or picking like an R&B song and changing it to an Afrobeat song. So it's basically just like picking everything I know people could connect with and then adding my own sauce to it. You know, you have someone in Spain listening to Afrobeats. They hear the drums and like, this sounds like reggaeton, but it's not reggaeton, it's Afrobeats. Or you listen to um, a song in the US and then you're like, this guitar sounds so pop, but it's not pop, it's not a pop record, it's an Afrobeat record. So it's just finding how you can build that bridge between cultures. I want to be like, build bridges between cultures. That's how I define my sound, building bridges between cultures. You know, we're just working. <laughs> we're just working and steady working, just enjoying the ride and just going along with the ride. Also, I'm working on my own projects, trying to release my own first artist project. 
I'm not singing on it, but it's just my chance to finally show the other parts of me. Like, all right, cool. You all know me for the Afrobeat stuff. You all know me for doing songs with Rama and Ira and everybody. But I want to show another side of me. I want to show like the musical side of me, stuff I love to do outside doing Afrobeat. Mm -hmm.